It's the farthest you've been out west? Absolutely, yeah, this is the first time out west. Okay, so if I ask you, what is a haboob? What is your answer? No clue. A haboob. What do you think it is? Give me a, like, haboob. your best guess. A haboob. 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 Is that some type of clothing? You're close, though. Okay. No, you're actually not close. Okay. Haboob. Haboob. No, nah, what is that? Haboob. <laughs> We've been having them during Bro, camp. We've been having them during camp. We had them yesterday. The things in the cafeteria? No, man. H A B O O B. I'm guessing haboob is like super drought. And haboob is formed when the dust in the Sahara Desert is disturbed by violent windstorms that start to blow the dust up into the atmosphere. The dust can travel for thousands of miles across the Atlantic Ocean from Africa to the Americas. The dust can aggravate your lungs, causing a higher chance of asthma attacks, respiratory illness, and allergies. But the dust can also fertilize the Amazon rainforest, bringing nutrients from Africa to South America. The dust can also influence island ecosystems like in the Bahamas by helping with the nutrients for the fish and the coral, but it can also lead to toxic algae blooms. Because the dust prevents the warm moisture, it actually helps to prevent hurricanes. But the dust in the atmosphere also creates beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Let's watch this news report to hear some more. On what's happening in the tropics? Well, we're not finding much tropical related precipitation. What we are finding is the Saharan dust, also known as the African. African dust. It is making its way through the eastern part of the Atlantic Ocean right now. Notice those arrows. It is tracking toward the Gulf of Mexico. We are going to have to keep an eye on this when it does arrive. It's not arriving anytime soon, so put this on the calendar for next week, but we do want to give you a heads up. This is Monday, the 22nd. It's in the southern Gulf of Mexico, and then it starts to move in late Tuesday and into Wednesday. So there's one batch that comes in on Wednesday, but watch what happens as we get toward Thursday, we could see some moderate to dense dust that could move in. This dust, while it helps suppress the tropical development in the Atlantic Basin, this is not good if you have allergies or asthma as some of the thickest dust that we have seen in quite a while with this system could come in and that could create a world of problems with being outdoors. Here's a picture. It was from my title photo and it's showing what the dust cloud looks like from the ISS in outer space. Let's hear some more people try to answer the question. A boob? Oh man, a boob. Uh, is that with weather too? Bryce, question for you. What is a haboob? It's when it seems like the apocalypse is coming, but really it's only rain and sand. Your phone started going off. Yeah, yeah, doing all that weird stuff. What was your first, like, what did you think right away? Oh, the like, hurricane was about to hit. Then I was like, we ain't about no water. So then I was like, I asked somebody at the table, was that count? They said it was a haboob coming. And I looked outside and I, I thought, you know, I thought the world was about to end or something. I seen all the all the dust in there. It was dark outside. It, it kind of scared me a little bit. Then they said it's just a dust storm. Just a dust storm. Wind. That's all it is. From a distance, it looks like the world's ending. Um, when you're in it, it kind it's just like kind of foggy. <laughs> Real windy, but besides that, it looks like the world's ending. They're like 70 mile long, five mile high dusk storms that come before the monsoons. Scary? No, I feel like I'm in that movie, The Mummy, you know, when that face is coming out of it, it's cool. So this was something that I started seeing articles on and it's gonna be happening in the next few days. So I wanted to make a quick video explaining what is a haboob. So basically it's just a dust cloud blowing in from Africa and it's gonna give us some interesting weather. If you've been enjoying the science videos, please like and subscribe and leave a little comment telling me how I'm doing. And remember, keep science awesome.